macOS Catalina gives you more of everything you love about Mac. Hey guys, this is Linux Knox and our today video is based on how can we install macOS Catalina version on VirtualBox. So without waiting anymore, let's jump right in. You have to install multiple files for installing macOS Catalina on VirtualBox. You can download the virtual image disk of macOS Catalina from intoguide.com. I have referred this website for downloading macOS Catalina virtual disk image. You can download this virtual disk image from Mediafire as well as from Google Drive. But I will prefer you to download the disk image file from Mediafire. You can download the VirtualBox edition from its official site and uh, as you can see here it is available for both Windows, Linux and Mac OS also but uh, here we are using Windows uh, version and uh, you also have to download the extension pack of uh, VirtualBox latest edition and to extract the virtual disk image downloaded file uh, we need WinRAR to extract that uh, virtual disk image file when you extract the virtual disk image file you have to enter the password there into guide.com that is uh, manually you have to enter there then the extraction will be done so now start a virtual box and uh, search for file and here in file you have to search for preference select preference and in preference you have to select extension and as you can see i have here uh, already done with the extension pack of virtual box you can add it manually also so this is the virtual extension pack that i have downloaded select this file and uh, click on ok now click on new to create a virtual uh, box edition of mac os here uh, in name you have to write mac os and as you can see uh, it is uh, already uh, by default mac os x and mac os x 64 bit edition now click on next for further procedure select the ram size you want i have selected here up to 4 gb ram for our mac os version click on next and here you have to select use an existing virtual hard disk file and select that virtual disk image file locate that virtual disk image file which you have downloaded and uh, extracted so here as you can see this is the virtual disk image file which i have downloaded and extracted click on open and select choose now here it is showing that uh, we have selected and uh, now click on create so now the virtual machine has been created for mac os and now we have some settings to do further here click on general and uh, select advance and make it as bi-directional both the file and go to system select the processor as much as you can in my case it is a uh, two processor and uncheck that floppy option and uh, now click on display here you have to set the video memory so i am setting it up to maximized value uh, that is 128 mb maximum size and leave the further settings as usual and click on ok so the overall configuration of virtual machine of mac os has been done now i have provided a file in the description please check that file here we have to extract that file in command prompt so here we have to run all these commands one by one into the command prompt this is the code folder location of uh, virtual box that we have to run on command prompt so now open command prompt 
type cmd and run it as administrator copy that core location from uh, that file and uh, type it here and enter now you have to select all the below files one by one and extract it here please don't miss any command either it will make a error for uh, installing the mac os version Okay, so now after you're done with uh, all the commands, you have to type exit to get exit from the command prompt. Okay, so now open VirtualBox and click on start to boot virtual machine. So here as you can see the booting process of macOS has been started and uh, it will show some configuration like this and uh, you can see the boot logo of uh, Apple here and here it is uh, it is installing the macOS Catalina version into the virtual box so it will take a while to install up to 28 minutes so after installing macOS Catalina, you have to restart the virtual machine. Uh, as you can see here, it, the system has been restarted. So after restarting, it will uh, show you the complete setup we have to do further. So here it is. The overall interface of macOS is booted up here. And uh, here you have to select your location, that is in which country you live. I am from India so I am selecting India here and uh, now click on continue and select the overall configuration as per your preference now click on continue again click continue and uh, it is showing uh, data and privacy options now here you have to select for don't transfer any information now and click on continue so here it will ask you for apple id so if you have apple id then you can enter it here i am not having apple id right now so i will click on setup later and here click on skip for further procedure Here it will show you terms and conditions related to macOS and uh, here the user agreement is also there. Click on agree and again click on agree. So after that it will show you that uh, here you have to enter the username and uh, overall account name for your macOS.
so here you have to enter your account name I am setting it as uh, Linux Nox. So again, you have to enter your password here. That will log in your uh, Mac OS. You have to verify that password also. And uh, below field, that is hint for the password, uh, and click on continue. Now for Express setup, click on continue. And for analytics, again click on continue and here the screen time options is there and uh, i will click on continue again so here's the three themes are there that is light dark and auto i will select light theme here and uh, click on continue so here's the mac os has been setting up and uh, after setting up it will ask you for keyboard configurations select the keyboard configuration as per the screen showing now click on and see and uh, select done so after setting up uh, overall configuration you will get a welcome screen of mac os so here as you can see this is the welcome screen of mac os catalina version if you have not signed in to your mac id then uh, click on setting and here you will find to sign in to your mac so from here you can also sign into your mac id after installation and uh, here and in mac os siri support is also there you can use siri as your virtual assistant and here is the overall settings for your hardware drivers and desktop to check out your version of mac os click on this apple logo and select about this mac here it will show which version you have that is 10.15 version of mac os catalina So guys this was the overall process of installing macOS Catalina on VirtualBox. Please like, share and subscribe Linux Knox for further updates. Thank you guys.